All right, about 6.30 in the morning, just pulled up to the Lost Gulch Overlook. This spot's a classic here in Boulder. This is where I actually learned to shoot photos. I'd come up after work and it's super accessible and just hike out on the rocks and you got this incredible panorama view. It's looking like it's gonna be a pretty good sunrise. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, I love this spot. Looks like we might be getting some nice color out east there. Might put on the old zoom lens. Everything's kind of far away up here. The no free hands wilderness lens change. <laughs> Teach that in college. <laughs> yeah, it looks like all the light's gonna be over that way. It'd be cool if it would develop over here, but. These new doors are too slow for my frantic lifestyle. Oh. Um, the clouds are kind of blocking the sun a little bit, so we're gonna we're gonna head down the hill to this little overlook that I have shot a couple times, kind of facing more in the direction of the sunrise. And if everything plays out right, it should be really good. Well, sunrise is supposed to be about 7 a.m. So the general rule of thumb is like you know half an hour, 15 minutes before that is when you're gonna start seeing the the color. That color comes, you know, when the sun's a little bit below the horizon, refracts through the atmosphere and hits some, hits the dust particles, pollution, etc., and creates that color. Yeah, this is like, this is my favorite spot when I was first learning photography because I lived like 10 minutes away from here, so, you know, I could go to work, get off work early and just hop in my car, drive up, take a couple photos, and man, I swear I must have been going out like four or five times a week when I was getting started and trying to learn and I'm super fortunate to have something like this just right here in my backyard in Boulder. Yeah. I mean, it was just terrible in Boulder and all my friends were complaining about the weather and I drove like five minutes up here for sunrise. I don't know if we're gonna get a whole lot, but it's pretty nice out here though. The clouds to the east where the sun's coming up are pretty bland. They're just, I mean, I always feel so spoiled saying, like, oh, that was a lame sunrise. And like, every sunrise is a good one, but didn't really get any color, but the clouds to the west are looking pretty cool. So we're gonna head down to Chautauqua and um, it's just a classic shot with the flat irons. There's nothing more bolder than that. And we're gonna see if the way this moon lines up with these cool clouds might actually still be something to do there. And if not, then I guess we're gonna press pause and wait for sunset. We're gonna walk up a little ways. It's pretty cool light, actually. This could work. That's just such a classic view. Well, sunrise was was all right, but we got some time till sunset. So we uh, stopped here, got a Moe's bagel, the best bagels in the world, and uh, gonna kill a little time before we head up to Rocky Mountain National Park. I mean, my favorite day, like shooting grizzlies, I think the best one I ever had was up in Lake Clark National Park in Alaska. And I didn't find that one super scary because it was like late in the season, they were like the only thing on their mind is eating salmon as much as they can possibly eat before winter comes. And so they didn't really have any interest in us, which was awesome. So we got to just like float around in this boat and take as many photos. And the, you know, the grizzlies are just sitting there like pulling salmon out fresh and chomping away and like completely ignoring us. But I mean, sometimes it's a little scarier. Like my polar bear trip up in, in Churchill this year is like the start of their hunting season, which is obviously kind of the exact opposite situation where They've been starving themselves for months and they're just now starting to eat for the first time and that they're a little bit less distracted and a little bit more focused and um, <laughs> I'm made of meat, which is kind of their main goal. So uh, it's not always scary photographing bears, but it, it really depends on where you are and what time of year it is. And I don't know, I guess the, the reward out, outweighs the risk for me though. One of my all time favorite shots, of course, is this uh, it's in Lake Clark, it's uh, a big 
Alaskan, like coastal brown bear sow. She's walking along the coast. And it was really just right place at the right time. I always say that like 80% of good photography is just putting yourself in the right position. And then the other 20% is, you know, the luck of like everything coming together. And this was definitely like the perfect storm of both of those where she just happened to walk perfectly along the bank and lined up between these two mountains. And I was in the, in the right spot in the boat. And, you know, all I really had to do was like focus and push the shutter button. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you? So good. Cool. Thanks. You as well. And we're in. Oop, I changed lenses. This is going to be less of a feature on me and more of just an expose on what a show I am. <laughs> there we go. Here, got to Lock Vale. It's looking pretty good, a little bit gray, but I'm loving it. Always love the way these, this valley cradles that mountain perfectly centered, and then there's this beautiful rock in the middle of the lake. If you're shooting slow mo, we'll get some hair blowing because that always looks better. Oh, uh, yeah. Make it look rugged. shot there where I just shoot it on burst and like crank the focus dial as I go. I'm just always such a sucker for the way the light plays off these ripples in the ice so you know the, with the way this valley frames that mountain and everything it's just is like a real nice holistic approach you get this foreground with some cool textures and um, a beautifully centered mountain with a, a u-shaped valley around it it's always just an exciting shot, uh, exciting place to shoot. So, a little bit gray here. We're gonna cruise on over to Dream Lake, see what the conditions look like over there. Give the clouds a little more time to blow out. And, uh, you know, if all else fails, we had a great day hiking outside. <laughs> just about 6.40, just finished our hike back from Lock Vale. It's looking like we could get some sunset if it's clear to the west here, so we're going to drive up to Bear Lake. It's just an old classic here in the park, and we're going to fire off a couple shots, see what we can get done. But first, high fives after every hike. <laughs>
block veil would have been so incredible, probably. <laughs> Imagine she's out with that little pink above the thing. There's no higher level of stress for a photographer than seeing the clouds change and you're not quite where you want to be for it. Yeah. Yeah, go, go, go. Not a whole lot of foreground there because we're working with a limited canvas, but got a little bit of cloud color. Well, I feel like there's a lesson to be learned here, huh? Yeah. We sort of rode it off a little bit too early, then we were a little bit lazy. We tuckered ourselves out on the big hike and then we were just sitting in the car chatting. <laughs> We've all scouted hundreds of sunrises or sunsets. None of us thought that was gonna turn into a burner. Oh well. You know what though, with some with some editing, I think this actually could look kind of neat. Real heater of some Hallett Peak right there. It's one of my favorite. Oops, one of my favorite mountains in the park though. It'd be nice to have a little bit less obstructed of a view, but I still kind of like that. <laughs> You're just capturing the misery now. Yep. <laughs> you gotta get the magic. You know, that was a great day outdoors. Had a great hike, but it's been about 16 hours long, and that's a wrap. Time for some food. <laughs>